go. Hi guys. Now, anyone who knows me knows I'm a massive fan of Ray Dalio's book, Principles. Now, in it, he talks about a five-step process to getting anything you want in life. Basically, one, set your targets high. Now, here's the thing. Most of us in life, there's almost an overwhelming amount of options of things to choose from. But pick carefully. You can have anything you want, but you can't have everything you want. Uh, a good rule of thumb is Warren Buffett's uh, suggestion. Pick the top 25 things you really want to do in life, and then the bottom 20, get rid of those and just focus on the top five. So whittle down to what you really want out of life. You know, Move towards that which you're really drawn to. So one, choose your goals carefully. Whittle it down to a small number of goals. Then two, identify the obstacles in your way. Identify what's stopping you getting you what you want. So identify and don't tolerate any problems. Then number three, you diagnose and get to the root cause of the problem, the root cause of the reality. And then, number four, you strategize a path forward. This is similar to Marcus Aurelius, the obstacle becomes the way. So it's all about not getting stuck, not getting bogged down, just keep moving forward. So very quickly, pick your goals carefully, aim high, aim for a big goal. Two, identify, don't tolerate any problems. Three, diagnose the root cause of the reality. Four, strategize a way to move forward, you know. Get over it, get around it, whatever. Keep moving forward. The obstacle becomes the way. That which uh, impedes action, it's almost like, yeah, you've got to figure out a way to keep moving forward. All the, the most successful people do this in life. And then finally, number five, that is execute. Rapidly execute and keep moving forward do that again and again and again. So once you've uh, done that five step strategy, you learn, you learn, you see what you've done, see what worked, what didn't, you learn from it and you attack again. So you kind of rinse and repeat the process. And then the main thing as well, this is what I love about the book, the similarities between Ray Dalio's thinking and Stoic philosophy. He says you have to learn to love the struggle because there's gonna be problems, there's gonna be setbacks, but you know, don't complain, don't blame, all of that is just a waste of energy. So, amor fati, amor fati, to learn to love one's fate, basically, to learn to love the struggle, to keep moving forward. Uh, and to finish, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Jocko Willink, the uh, Navy SEAL, as he says, you know, get after it. So, implement those five uh, steps in the strategy, choose your goals carefully, identify, don't tolerate any problems. Number three, diagnose the root cause of the reality for strategize a clear path forward by execute then rinse and repeat and finally learn to love the struggle because you know this is what life is all about and get after it and go for it cool